It's gonna be a beautiful day. This is me, David. In my life, I'm surrounded by gay voices, including my own. What do you mean I didn't like the sun? I love the sun. But sometimes I feel really self-conscious about sounding gay. I'm like, get me to the front of the line, I will kill you. And there was just like magical tutu that popped out from like nowhere. Is that what I sound like? I've been uncomfortable with the way that I've sounded for years, but it's like there's nothing I can do about it. If I could sound more masculine, I definitely would. It's not a choice to sound gay. I don't think I sound like a woman. I think I sound like a very small man. You know, like, like this high. <laughs> I'm used to hearing my voice now. When I would first hear it, I, quite frankly, would be appalled. A lot of gay men are self-conscious about sounding gay because we were persecuted for that when we were young. Well, when I was in third grade, people started making fun of the way I talked, and that's when the bullying started. And so I remember changing my voice, or trying to sound less gay just to survive high school. Growing up, I lived in constant fear of sounding gay. I do have people who come to me uh, to ask to sound less gay. You are a tongue thruster. Found so alone, no. Stop it. You're going, stop it. Uh, okay. Stop. stop it. Stop it. Right. Our father is brought forth on this continent. You say con continent. <laughs> Perhaps you picked this up when you were young by listening more to women than to men. Mm -hmm. For many gay men, that's the last vestige of internalized homophobia, is this hatred of how they sound. What's wrong with sounding like you are who you are, sounding like a gay man, having a gay voice.